today we're going to be trying out another new subscription box on my channel and this is the August Allure Beauty Box. Now if you've ever been on my channel before you've known that I've tried out the Allure Beauty Box before. Like if you go way way back in my channel you will see that I have tried the Allure Beauty Box before and here we are again because I had a couple of you guys ask me to sign up for the Allure Beauty Box. You wanted me to try it out, see if it was worth it and as somebody who is a self-proclaimed subscription box addict I love constantly adding new subscription boxes to my list to get every month because literally when something comes to my door, when my mailman comes to my door, that is literally the most exciting part of my day. That might be sad for some of you guys, but for me, I'm like, oh my gosh, a new subscription box. I can't wait to try it out. So for those of you who do not know, the Allure Beauty Box is $15 a month. I don't know how many samples they claim you're supposed to get in every box. However, I can say that the boxes that they send everything out in are always really, really sturdy. Like these are nice boxes, like the Target or Walmart box, like we have some steady cardboard right here. So I think that that in general kind of adds a little bit to the value because you can use it for storage or you can use it to like hold a gift that you're gonna give to somebody. So with that said, I can't wait to see what's in here. Let's really, really hope that it's gonna be absolutely outstanding. So far out of all the subscription boxes that I've gotten in the last two days, Birchbox has won me over, but I'm really excited and maybe this will beat up Birchbox. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see what's inside. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is this card. It says $30 off your next order, free US shipping and returns for BritaWatch.com. I am not a watch girl. I don't really ever wear watches, mostly because they're so difficult to put on. Just in the same case with sandals, I only wear sandals that have that like stretchy elastic band. Same thing with watches. I am not coordinated enough to little put that little notchy thing in any of the holes. Like it's just too complex for me. I like my things simple. Um, but it says minimalist inspired watches designed in our da Dallas, I was gonna say Dallas, Dallas based studio gift or choose the perfect personal accessory with over 15 collections to choose from starting at $70 for US shipping to your warranty complimentary US returns. And then it gives me a date to redeem my gift card code. And then, um, it, yeah, that's it. So I will definitely be putting this in a giveaway pile. I have a huge giveaway pile going on for you guys. I cannot wait to show you what's going on in there. So the next thing that I'm pulling out is this little magazine and it says Allure Beauty Box, exclusive promo codes inside. And then on the inside, I now know everything that's inside of this box because I just went through it and I flipped through. But it has everything inside of the box and a little paragraph about it um, along with the pricing. So now I'm opening up the box. We've got some tissue paper and I almost just dropped the entire box. And here's everything that's inside of the box. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is this Nexus Cara Fix Damage Healing Shampoo. Silicone free protein infusion with carotene protein and black rice for severely damaged hair. Girl, that is my hair. My hair has been so, <laughs> it's so bad. I've never had my hair ever this damaged before. I've been putting in hair masks. I've been doing everything. It's slowly starting to get better, but I definitely need to like, when I do wash, like I wash once a week, but I definitely need to use like a moisturizing shampoo and like be careful of that. And I've been looking around at Walmart for like carotene infused shampoos and anything. I haven't found anything. Boom, the universe is starting to come together and help me like get my life back on track because here I have in my hand the shampoo and then over here, this is the Nexus Carrot Fix Damage Healing Conditioner Pro Fusion with Carotene Protein and Black Rice. I, okay, whew, so many levels of happy right now. Like foil packets are such a cheap way to go out and I really feel like when a company sends you a foil packet and they count that as a sample, it's a cheap, it's a, it's a cop out. It's a cheap cop out. But no, here in my hand, I have a like amazing size sample of both the shampoo and conditioner from the same line. They're both from Nexus. They're both like the damage control with protein infusion, uh, with keratin and black rice. So I'm going to be able to use these several times. So I know if they're working for my hair or if they're not working for my hair unlike if I were to get and use a foil packet. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this La Ritzy Cosmetics Light Sticks Illuminator. So this is a cruelty free and paraben free and I'm assuming it's gonna be a highlighting stick. It's in shade Halo and it says La Ritzy Cosmetics. I'm just gonna open it up and I'm gonna swatch it real quick. Ooh, that's really pretty. Now when you said like Halo to me, I was gonna think it was gonna be like purple, like definitely like purple and blue, but this is like, gold with a very light peach 
reflection. I don't know if you guys can see the peach. The gold is definitely picking up, but when it's like kind of going over more in the shadow and it's not being hit directly with light, I definitely get like peach. I really, really don't know if that's picking up on camera, but I mean, that's really pretty. So we got a highlighting stick. Ooh, I don't really ever use hit sticks too much. Much. I just, I have the dropsies today, guys, but I want to see what it's going to look like on my nose. It's probably going to pick up my foundation a little bit, but I'm just going to tap and see. <gasps> that's such a nice gentle glow. That's really, really pretty. Oh my gosh, I really like that. It's not, and it's not overly blinding, which I know everybody nowadays is like, oh my gosh, I want a blinding highlighter. But for somebody who's looking for more of a soft, natural, kind of from the within, from within kind of glow, I feel like this stick would fit perfectly. And sticks are always buildable. You can like layer that on there to make it really blinding or whereas I did with my nose. I mean, it's soft and it kind of looks a little bit more natural looking on my nose. So, so far we've gotten a conditioner, a shampoo, and a highlighting stick. We're off to a really great start with Allure. The next thing that I'm pulling out is a liquid liner, it looks like. This is from Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. Precise smudge proof in pitch black. Oh my gosh, okay. So let's see if I can open it. You guys know I'm always troubled when it comes to these sorts of things. So here is what the tip, it's just, just like a felt tip um, eyeliner. So I'm just gonna take a quick little dash on my hand boom they really do mean pitch black like I look into that and I'm like oh my gosh is that like outer space because it looks really really dark so I'm gonna give it a second to dry um I do have to say I feel like the line is very fine however I am noticing a little bit of feathering where I first applied the however I am noticing a little bit of feathering where I first applied the pen it's kind of like going along in the creases of my hand however this is the back of my hand it's not the my eye but maybe if you are somebody who has wrinkling or any signs of aging around your eyes you may find that this is dipping out and I don't even think my camera is going to pick it up. So really you could just go in and if you're not as picky as I am, you could go in and clean it up with concealer. Like if you're not worried about just a tiny bit of microscopic, not being super picky feathering, then like, you're like great. Okay. So basically, um, I'm just going to take my finger, nothing on it. And we're going to see if we have any smudging. Ooh, yeah, we have some smudging. Um, it's not terrible though. Okay, never mind. I lied. Yeah, that's really bad. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's put it on our hand again. I'm going to put another line on the back of my hand. It's a little bit thicker this time just because of my own. Okay, I wanted to do another test round with the smudge proofness of this eyeliner. I went ahead and I put another line in the back of my hand. I'm going to pull out another product of this box. And as soon as I finish reviewing that product that we pulled out of the box, we're going to go ahead and test the smudge proofness on this second line because maybe I just didn't give this eyeliner enough time to dry to test its smudge proofness. So let's get into it. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this thingy. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, it looks like felt, kind of like it kind of looks like felt. That's what it basically looks like, a scratched up felt. Um, Melting lip powder, long lasting matte lip and cheek tint in desert rose. Who's this from? CLE. Is it CLE or CLE Cosmetics? I don't know. I really, really don't know. So like basically here is, oh, I'm getting black liner all over the lid. I'm so sorry. Here is what this looks like. And as you guys can see, like it looks like it's just like halfway filled. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on that, but literally it just looks like it's like filled like right up to like right here. Um, And it really, really just looks like powder, like powder in a bottle. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to apply. So yeah, basically this just looks like powder. They said it's lip and cheek, um, so maybe it's just like powdered blush. Okay, so we're just gonna take a swatch on the back of the... What? Oh my God, hold up, y'all. Woo! <gasps> okay, pause. I don't know how to science, but this isn't, this is wet. This isn't powder, this literally is wet. And look, it's shiny too. So like we can all confirm that this is some level of wetness, whether it's glossy or like, but it actually like feels wet on the back of my hand. Okay, look, I'm going to take a little bit and I'm just going to tap out on the back of my hand so you guys can see. But like, look, th that's powder. This, there's powder. Like I just tapped out of the bottle. It's powder. So please tell me how in the world did this little applicator make it like lip glossy? Oh my God. This is magic. Holy cow. Okay, wait. So first of all, 
that little science experiment was really, really fun because inside of the bottle is like powder. But then the applicator, somehow that doe foot applicator made it apply like wet. Like it's wet now and it's not my skin. Like literally this is just the applicator doing this. You can definitely still see some of the powder like just like hanging out around my hand. <sighs> Um, and it's not really going anywhere. I already have lipstick. I already have blush on. This is a product that I'm gonna definitely play around with like at a later date, but I'm like Whoa, I've never heard of this. This is literally such an amazing idea because it's like so like versatile Secondly because you can wait first of all First you can use it on your lips your cheeks your eyes like you could really like go to town with this Second of all the shade is really really pretty like I'm not mad at that color at all. So this was like absolutely shocking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna test the smudge proofness of this eyeliner now that we've given it a second to dry and definitely it is not smudge proof whatsoever. As you guys can see, I still have like some smudging going down my wrist. So it's not smudge proof. Um, And I am not somebody who is patient enough or is calm enough to actually like attempt to give myself a cat eye or use liquid liner in any way, shape or form. So liquid liner isn't something that I ever use and I usually just end up putting it in a giveaway pile or giving it to like somebody that I know or somebody in my family. So I'm not mad at it as it just didn't live up to its claim of being smudge proof. However, I did like the tip. It was very fine. It was very easy to apply. It's very easy to control. It was a lightweight pen. So I mean like it's not a win, but it's not exactly a lose. So far out of everything in the box, I would have to say that it's my least favorite item. The next thing that I'm pulling out is this Claude D Moisturizing Sorbet for sensitive skin. I've received this in my Ipsy before. I've already had this. Um, this is something that I definitely did. I used the entire container of. I don't know if it's for like your face or hand. I always just used it as like body cream, but I, with it saying sensitive skin, I'm gonna assume that this is for your face. Um, it doesn't really have like a whole bunch of scent to it, but it definitely kind of reminds me of like, like I get like pistachio, kind of that woody, nutty type of um, scent to it. Definitely I'm gonna go over and read what the magazine says because you guys know I literally suck so much at identifying scent. And the last thing that I'm pulling out is this Lang Langine Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask for all skin types. I hope this tastes like watermelon. I want it so desperately to smell or taste like watermelon. So this is a lip sleeping mask. You're supposed to use it over for overnight lip moisture therapy. Um, main features, berry mix complex and moisture wrap for nourishing and plumping. Oh my gosh, I hope it has some sort of watermelon scent or taste. Okay, and then on the top it says directions, apply generous and leave on overnight. Gently wipe off remains next morning. Caution, see the main package for details. I don't ever read caution warnings uh, because I like to live my life dangerously. So this is what it looks like. It kind of just looks like it's plastic. It's definitely a very cheap and lightweight feeling plastic. But this is what the inside of the container looks like. It doesn't really have a scent to it whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take a little bit and... Ooh, it's thick and creamy feeling. But it doesn't have a scent and it doesn't have a taste. What is with that? Why would you put this cute packaging and not make it taste or smell like watermelon? I'm a little sad about that, but I love how thick and creamy this feels. I have an addiction problem with chapstick. Um, you can ask anybody that actually knows me. I always have at least two t two tubes of chapstick on me. I literally buy Carmax like I'm like I buy so much of it. I literally cannot live without chapstick. I need it. So I'm really excited to try out this fun lip mask and see if that gives me like an all day wear on my lips because. I don't know, I find that I literally get really irritated if I don't have chapstick. I really hate the feeling of my lips being dry and like touching each other, which is why I use chapstick so often. So like, again, this is everything that I got inside of my box and I do have to, wait, hold on. They didn't talk about this thingy. This, this is nowhere to be found in the book. So I wonder if I got it as like an extra for signing up. I don't know, I find it's very fascinating. And now it's matte, it's matte again, that's crazy. Um, however, there's like a hot mess going like all over my hand. I literally have like little spots of that powder all over my hand. So maybe that was like an extra for signing up. Maybe they just didn't put it in. I don't really know what's going on with that. Do any of you guys know? Like, do you think that they put it in there as like an incentive for me signing up? Do you feel like they put it in there like, whoopsies, I, we didn't mean to put it in there? Or do you feel like it was like 
oh we forgot to put it in the book so that is it for my unboxing of the August Allure Beauty Box. I have to say I am, I'm happy with this box. Um, I do feel like I was able to try out two products. Well, this product was literally like a formula like that I've never heard of before. I did receive one item that I was familiar with. But like take this out of the situation. I got two makeup products, a lip product, and two hair care products. Um, so I feel like, again, this was well-rounded. I'm glad that I didn't receive any face masks or face scrubs because I'm so tired of getting them. I'm really excited that I feel like I got two items that were really, really, like, really are going to fit well into my lifestyle. I feel like I got something from brands that I'm familiar with, and then I got a couple things from brands that are new to me. So overall, I do feel like this box is well-rounded. I feel like I got $15, like, definitely with the two shampoos. Yeah, I definitely, definitely do feel like I got, like, the full $15 plus more out of it. The two shampoos really, really made me happy that they didn't put in foil packets and they actually gave me samples that were large enough for me to get multiple washes and conditions with. So I'm really, really happy overall with the Allure Beauty Box. I don't feel like I was stiffed. I don't feel like I was robbed blind of my money or misled on a value at all. I do feel like I feel happy with this box. So I'm really excited what they see to see what they have in the September box, I hope is just as well-rounded and exciting as this month's box was. So that is it for my August Alert Beauty Box unboxing. What did you guys think? What do you guys think is going on with the powdery lip product? Like, do you, like, why do you think that's in there? And have you ever heard of a formula like this at all? I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video.